It's almost too much to comprehend. Doctors communicating with a patient during brain surgery. Isn't that hard to yeah. imagine? But it's that conversation, not the most remarkable part, of one Greenwood mother's two most recent surgeries. Kevin Rader tonight shows us how technology and precision saved her life, and a whole bunch of it was caught on camera. Somebody, so. Two weeks have now passed since Kirsty Tenod, a 30-year-old married mother of two, underwent brain surgery. All of this, we believe, is the tumor, like this. Oops. Going all the way across like this, and then down into the temporal lobe right here. She started suffering headaches in January. Her family didn't like the initial diagnosis, so they kept pushing for answers until they got one, a brain tumor. When they were like, oh, well, we need to have awake craniotomy and you're going to be awake during this brain surgery and this is what you're a candidate for. I was just in shock. Yes. Hi, it's Dr. Shaw. Hi. Are you doing okay? I am. She was a chatty Cathy during the operation. I heard that I was talking about Harry Potter. I got upset about Harry Potter. I have no idea why. Um, so weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she knew all of these things, and it was amazing, while I'm knee-deep into her brain, that she was able to communicate in such an elaborate manner. Well, that may seem unusual, it's actually been done since the 90s. But this is the first time anyone in Indiana has combined a weight craniotomy with an inner operative MRI. We have the capability, while the patient is still asleep, to get an MRI. And we've never done that. The two allow the surgeon to monitor language and motor skills and to make sure they have as much of the cancer cleared out as possible while the operation is still taking place, which proved especially <laughs> valuable in Kirstie's case. So we went back and basically took this portion right there mm -hmm. and this portion out. It's awesome. So she was released from the hospital two days later. But thank you for all your hard work. You You're guys welcome. have been wonderful. <laughs> She's scheduled to go back to work in January. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, now Witness News. The medical science is just unbelievable. Wow. Isn't Absolutely. It? You take that technology and then you put it in the skilled hands of someone like Dr. Mm -hmm. Shaw, and amazing things happen. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. Wow. Yes. All right. Let's <laughs>